Hey everyone, welcome to today's day trading recap, Wednesday, March 10th. Uh, nice PL today, $2,322, all on the runners. So I didn't have I didn't have any mighty 90 trades. Uh, I tried to get into a couple, or I was about to get into a couple before they ran away too quickly. So I didn't end up taking any. No pairs trades today. So all runners all day. Uh, not the best win percentage, one four, lost three, but my my losers were were tiny. Uh, Boeing, biggest winner, plus 1303. Beyond, a small winner for 127. Disney, small loser for 152. DKNG, really nice winner for 1260. PLTR, scratch, minus 24. Piton, minus 357. And Zoom, plus 165. So let's take a look at these. Let me get this expanded here, starting with Boeing. Boeing's been a beast for me lately, in a good way. Uh, so let's take a look at Boeing. Uh, I feel like I traded really well today, just as far as you know, getting in and out. Uh, had had some massive volume here, uh, the second and third volume bars, waiting for a pullback. Uh, so we got long right here, or it may have been at the bottom of this bar. Anyway, popped back up, got out of some uh, as it pulled back, got back in. Uh, I think I think actually on this bar here, took some heat, took some heat. Starting to get worried when it broke down here on this bar, I actually shed some of my contracts just to reduce risk. Uh, it came down to yesterday's high and bounced hard, but I was still holding a, a good portion. So I was able to ride that all the way up, close some of those out here, close some out here, held my last one until right about here is where I cut out of it. So really nice trade in Boeing for 1303. Uh, Beyond, uh, Beyond was a little bit of a tough one today. A uh, little, little, uh, some signals that just did not play out too well. I uh, had some massive volume here. So on this bounce, got short. Ended up getting out of most of my contracts down here. So I was still holding a, a piece when it bounced up here, back up to the top of this uh, price peak. Usually I, I give, usually I'm a little bit more patient and I would have waited till it pushed through to, to exit, but I just, uh, things were getting strong. Looked like this thing was gonna push through. So I just got out of the rest here, took a small profit of 127. Obviously what happened Immediately after that was this thing just fell apart. So I would have booked a bigger profit, but still green at plus 127. And then, and, and you know, you had some other massive volume spikes here, which on this pullback, you could have got long, caught a piece there, but it was just a little bit erratic today. And so I just, uh, I kind of got out of beyond and took my, took my money and ran. Uh, Disney minus 152. So this is one where we had a, uh, uh, you know, it's kind of back and forth. It was, it was staying strong all day. I was looking for something to get long besides tech and Disney was staying strong. It started to consolidate above this pivot. So I tried to get long right here, looking for a continuation higher. And when it broke down, I just, I just cut out, took a small loss. It was a small position as well. And then DKNG, my other big winner, uh, big push up on this little pullback to the pivot, got long right here, took a piece off there, it pulled back, got long again. Uh, scaled out some here and then held some. Uh, I think I got out of my last piece right in this area here. So nice over $1,200 winner there. PLTR, I did have a decent little profit in PLTR and it took it away. Uh, this is another runner, obviously all these runners, big massive volume spike on this, uh, on this uh, little pullback here, uh, got long, got out, of, got out of half my contracts here and then it just fell apart. And so when it broke, when it broke down to this level here, I just, I just cut out of the rest and basically scratched it for uh, minus 24 bucks. Piton, uh, Piton had a couple trades. Uh, the first one was on this, on this push lower with, with massive volume on this bounce got short, uh, took some heat, broke through the highs of the day. And at this point I was just like, man, this thing looks like it's just going to rip higher. Now, obviously in hindsight, that didn't happen. So when it got a little movement in my direction, I just cut out of that one. So took a loss on that one. And then on, uh, on the other one, um, had this uh, big weakness, big push through the lows of the day. When it bounced back up to unchanged, I got short here, took some profits out of that little move. I was holding, holding, waiting uh, with the other piece. And I think when it started to, you know, I was waiting for, I had an order to close it out about down here. When it started to kind of bounce, market started getting strong. I ended up just closing out of the last piece. So I got some back, but still took a loss overall of minus 357. And then lastly in Zoom Zoom. So this was a downside runner, uh, similar to Piton, where 
and where it got really weak when it bounced up to the uh, unchanged mark, got short, closed out a half on this down move, and then held the rest, and it just kind of chopped around, and finally I was basically done for the day, so I just cut out of my last piece right here, uh, still booked a profit of 165, so plus 23.22 on the day. Uh, we'll be streaming live tomorrow on Thursday. We'll, we will not be streaming live on Friday or Monday of next week. So next, uh, so tomorrow is the last day of streaming for a few days. So look forward to seeing you there. If you guys have any questions, let me know.